Hello guys, I am Navni and I welcome you back to Target Study YouTube channel. Today I am here with the details of one such bachelor's degree course that can help you enter in the field of computer science even if you have missed the ever in demand Bachelor of Computer Applications or BE Computer Science courses at your graduation level. Yes guys, you're on the right track. I am talking about one such non-conventional options of entering in the field of computer science after 10 plus 2 and that other option is BSc IT expanded as Bachelors of Science in IT. In this video, I will let you know about various facts of this course like what is BSc IT course all about? What are the eligibility conditions to join BSc IT course? What are the skills required to do BSc IT course? What is the course curriculum of BSc IT course? How to join BSc IT course? Which are the top institutes providing BSc IT course? What is the fee structure of BSc IT course? What are the career prospects and job opportunities after completing BSc IT? Which are the top recruiters of BSc IT degree holders and much more? Let us start with the very basic question and that is what is BSc IT all about? Bachelors of Science in Information Technology is a three years undergraduate course in information technology spread across six semesters. The course mainly revolves around the processing and management of information in a systematic way. BSc IT is basically about storing, processing, securing and managing information. BSc IT degree primarily focuses on subjects such as software development and testing, information databases, networking and programming. BSc IT course can be pursued on full-time as well as part-time basis in India. The BSc IT students will get to know the different ways by which bulk information can be managed, stored and secured. Now you would like to know the eligibility conditions for degree in Bachelors of Science in Information Technology. So here it is. For getting admission in BSc Information Technology course, you must have completed your 10 plus 2 or equivalent class from a recognized board with 50% to 55% marks with physics, chemistry and mathematics as the main subjects in 10 plus 2. This condition of minimum marks may vary from institute to institute. Along with fulfilling these eligibility conditions, you must have a certain set of required skills to successfully do BSc IT course and these skills are technical and research skills. To be good software professional, you need a scientific and analytical approach and problem solving skills using lateral or logical thinking. Ability to explain complex ideas using logical reasoning, rational thinking and analytical skills to ascertain the pros and cons of alternate solutions. Judgment and decision making skills excellent communication and creative writing skills. Now you would like to know the syllabus for BSc IT course. BSc IT course curriculum comprise of subjects related to programming, computer applications, networking and project works. The semester wise breakup of BSc IT syllabus in most of the institutes providing this course are in the first semester you study subjects like technical communication skill, Problem Solving Methodologies and Programming in C Computer Fundamentals and Emerging Technology Networking and Internet Environment and the last one Practical PC Software Whereas second semester consists of subjects like Data Structure Using Web Programming Computer Organization and Architecture Mathematical and Statistical Foundation of Computer Sciences and practicals in C language and web programming. In third semester, you usually study subjects like SAD, Software Quality Assurance and Testing, C++ and Object Oriented Programming, RDBMS using Oracle, Content Management using Joomla, Practical in C++ and OOP and the last Practical Oracle. In fourth semester, you study subjects like Programming with Java, Programming with C-Hash, Network Technology and Administration, Operating Systems, Concepts with Unix or Linux, Practical in Java and Practical C-Hash. Whereas, 5th semester consists of subjects like Programming with C-Hash.net, Advanced Java Programming, 
software testing and project management, project development along with practical in chash.net. In sixth and final semester of BSc IT course, subjects like programming with ASP.NET, MS SQL Server Database Administration, Networking Management and Information Security, Project Development along with Practical Work are taught. Now one of the obvious questions that may be striking your mind, that is how to get admission in BSc IT course. Admission to BSc IT course is provided by two ways. One is through BSc IT entrance exam and another way is merit-based admission process. In merit-based admission process, students are admitted to BSc IT course on the basis of their marks in qualifying exam. Some less reputed institutes may provide admission by this way, but most of the government and other reputed institutes and universities conduct their own aptitude test and provide admission to their BSc IT course. Whereas, there are some university level, state level or national level entrance tests that too are used to provide admission in BSc IT course of various institutes. Some of the entrance tests conducted for BSc IT are Geetam Science Admission Test released by Geetam University, Pantnagar University Entrance Exam, UP Combined Agriculture and Technology Entrance Test, Gobind Ballab Panth University of Agriculture and Technology Entrance Exam, and NEST etc. After taking the entrance test, qualified students are called for counselling sessions and group discussion rounds for final selection. Now you would like to know about some of the most preferred colleges, universities or institutes for pursuing BSc IT degree. If you want to go for government institutes, then there are institutions like Delhi University in Delhi, Mahatma Gandhi University, Kerala. If you want to go for private institutes, then you can go for Lovely Professional University Punjab, Chandigarh University Mohali, St. Xavier College Mumbai, Amity University Noida, and NIMS University Jaipur, to name a few of them. Next obvious question that may strike your mind is, what is the fee structure of BSc IT course? So the fee structure of BSc IT course varies greatly from institutes to institutes. Like in government institutes, it may range from Rs. 90,000 to Rs. 120,000. Whereas, the fee for the same course in private institute may be as high as Rs. 4 lakhs. Now I would like to let you know about the career prospects after BSc IT course. India is an educationally inclined country and information technology is believed to be a superior stream of education as compared to others. BSc IT degree graduates of the country are going to contribute to this industry in a big way. The degree in BSc Information Technology serves as a very good base for students who wish to pursue their career in the field of Information Technology. After completing BSc IT, students will have a vast number of opportunities to start a professional career and can look for jobs in different sectors or they can pursue higher education courses like MSc IT. Professionals with BSc IT can work in different roles like software developer, IT analyst, maintenance engineer, application programmer in IT sector. You can also opt for government well-paid and reputed job positions to other industries like teaching, banking and analytics too. In a nutshell, we can say that there are a number of job opportunities for those who have done their BSc in information technology from some reputed institutes. Some of the top companies that you can think of joining after completing your BSc IT degree are TCS, Infosys, IBM, Wipro, Tech Mahindra Limited, HCL Technologies, Accenture, Cognizant, Vodafone, Cisco Systems and Qualcomm etc. And here now is the most eagerly asked question. What is the salary prospect after BSc IT course? As a fresher, you can expect to get anything between 3.6 lakhs per year in public sectors to Rs 4 lakh per year in private sectors. However, with some of the job experience and expertise in the field, you can expect to get Rs 6 lakhs in public sector and Rs 9 lakhs per year in private sector. So friends, I would like to say that a BSc IT degree can boost an aspirant's career, help them to be prominent in job market and get lucrative job prospects 
when compared to what they would get with other graduation degrees. So guys, that is all about BSc IT courses. I hope you like this video. If it is really so, please hit the like button and for getting regular notifications, please hit the bell icon. We will be back with videos on such informative topics. Thank you for watching.